Uh, Bortle here from YCS Fascinated with the YCS champion himself, Hani Jahari. What's going on, hey. Bortle? What's up, man? Be back, baby. Yeah. And this time with the dub. Insane. Oh, and uh, just on what's up, man? Well, what's good? It's good. Hani's brother. There what's you good? Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo, yo, what's it feel like winning this event, man? Honestly, uh, it feels unreal. Like, I can't even believe it. It was such a hard fought battle. And honestly, uh, Hard work just pays off, that's all I can really say. I'm gonna copy one. How was it in the finals though? Like, the final moments? Honestly, like, it, it just feels so unreal being on that stage, especially versus one of the greatest minds in the game, like Jesse. So, I mean, it was a good duel. But honestly, I, I just felt like this weekend was mine. I always, I've been saying it for literally months. Like, my 17th top is gonna be a win, so. Uh, here we are. Insane. Any shots before we get, man? Um, yeah, I actually got a few. I have them written down. There's too many. So, uh, first shout out is to Philip Campa, who let me borrow the cards. Uh, Pandemonium Gaming, who also let me borrow the cards. Heisem and Jay, who helped me build the deck. Uh, Ruben, Kamal, Cam, Gunther, Pack, Jacob, all the homies for just supporting me and being here. Um, and Chris, and Chris for uh, telling me that, and, and telling me and motivating me to, to win this YCS. I couldn't have done it without Chris. That's what's up. Without further ado, please show us the goo. So onto the goo. Three Sheeran, three Hoffness, and now things get a little weird. Two Merle, two Rhino. All right. So I know this seems a little bit odd, but Merle isn't a card that you really want to mill or open in multiples. You kind of always want to just send it off a spring, like. Uh, it's just not a card you kind of want to see. Like, realistically, you always want to mill these off your mills and just send it off of the uh, the spring. And uh, two, Rhino Heart, you don't want to clog on normal summons in this deck, especially if you're playing a card like the Miner, which I play two of. Uh, I think this card is just the best normal out of like all four of these. The fact that this just allows you to make Baron and then allows you to play around like Hoffness, like right off the rip. Like summoning this, playing around Hoffness off the uh, off the rip is crazy because you're able to always send like these cards and just stopping Hoffness immediately is just crazy. So like I think I, I think this card was just. Was just the not it overperformed for me to be honest. I don't know, like a lot of people were talking about how this card wasn't that great, but I don't know, it just seemed good to me. And then three Kelbeck, this card's just a hand trap, and it's just and it just also mills five, so you already know that card's crazy. And then a Guido, I only played one of this one. Uh, I know a lot of people were playing three, but I decided to end up playing one because I just don't want to like break on these cards. I don't want to open too many of them, especially like the mill five one. So, uh. I think one was perfect. Okay. And then finally, the best hand trap in the deck, three orange light. Uh, this card could be a break, but at the end of the day, like it helps you make sprint, it helps you make elf, and uh, yeah, like it, it's the best hand trap once you open it with any of the fairies. Like it's just the nuts. So it's crazy. Uh, the card was crazy. Stops, stops like the best card in the game in my opinion right now, and that's Magma. Like this card has literally taken over the game in the last like few weeks, and it, Magma Hutch has been insane in the mirror. Just like being able to like get the free plus, just like just too ridiculous in my opinion. Just banishing a tier name, getting a plus, uh, reborning this card out your opponent's graveyard. Like this card is crazy. Uh, two Druid Worm, one Sirenir. These cards are usually not played. Usually people are just playing the one Druid Worm, but I wanted to open multiple Bestials. And I didn't want to play three Druid Worm because, like, I want to open like different combinations of names. So, like, I thought this ratio was the, was the perfect ratio. I even sided the other one of this, but we'll, we'll get into that. And then onto the spells: Instant Fusion, Terraforming, Free Palerino, and then uh, all the tier spells and traps. One Scream, one Crime, two Sullyic. Uh This card you kind of want to mill. Just searching a free monster is broken, and like. I hate shuffling this card back to search it. Like, I don't want to shuffle back cards and then search them. I'd rather just, like, search it. Like, wasting a shuffle back on this would be pointless. So for the people that are playing one of this and then shuffling it back to search it, I just don't think that's correct. I just think, like, you're wasting a shuffle back when it could have just been in your main deck. So... Um, and then Scream, this card's not a multiple of. This card could literally be a one of. Like, yes, you could play multiples of it, but you'd rather not just open, like, multiple of, like, these cards together. Like, you'd rather just, like... 
you'd rather just send this off to Lattle Heart and search. Like, and I know, like, a lot of people like milling this card to get the free plus, but, like, I'm not relying on luck. I'm relying on, like, like sending it off of a card effect, like, during my combo. Uh, Main deck count? Huh? Main deck count? Main deck count? Yeah, yeah. 40 cards. 40 cards? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> 40. Uh, onto the extra deck. Uh, one of every name. Kind of standard at this point, I feel like, in this is format. Like, two kits not really needed. Uh, I heard of that a lot this weekend. Man, I didn't even need the second kit. <laughs> One Baron. This card was MVP. Best card. We made it OD times with the Biner with orange light and Ricalos with orange light and two fours. Uh, I was making this card out of nothing. Like, I'm talking about this card was just MVP. Every time I summoned it, it, it just felt like I couldn't lose. Like, honestly, I felt like I couldn't lose. Especially especially if you have it with Baron face, uh, uh, when you have it with Dweller face up on the board. Yep. And then this card was just crazy for me. Uh, I didn't summon it a lot this weekend. I really summoned it just like against like the really good players because like I'm not trying to play an interact full game against against uh, <laughs> against Jesse and them. <laughs> so, you know, one, one Dweller, that's all you need. You can shuffle it back and remake it. <clears throat> And then uh, one Babushka, uh, card's insane, it could out mine. Uh, I did it in one of my rounds, I summoned it, and every standby phase, it's a mandatory effect to detach, and then it dies once it runs out of material. So it dies, mine's face up, there's no cards on the field, you go effect to the shuffle back, shuffle back your own tier, then you go effect the Palerino, pop their mine, and you continue playing. So, uh, yeah, Mystic Mine was just an out in my extra deck. And then uh, Beatrice. Uh, this card was good, plays around with cherries. Just, there's just like a, a lot of ways to make it with the Vistials, with the Viner, so definitely needs to be played. And then on to the Link Monsters. Uh, IP Avermax, I just never made them. They were really for like, they were really for if my opponent summoned Avermax on me, or if I felt like I'm in a tough spot in the mirror and like an unwinnable game, like sometimes this could come up, people don't have outs. So it was fine. Like, even though like I, I, like I didn't make them this weekend, I felt like it could have came up. And then Sprint, Elf, Dark, um, these, really. these, these cards are just insane. Like this card allowing you to make Baron, bring back Orange, bring back Diviner was nutty. Uh, this card just bringing back like Vistield, like Magma Hut, and like just you know like any good Dark in the Grave is crazy. Kit, Merly, so. Uh, that was it for the extra deck, 15 cards, of course, and then finally onto the side deck. One Sirenir, like, uh, I played one because I already made the other, and, like, I was, I was doing the side patterns, and, uh, I felt like just having the extra Bistial was, like, the, like, the correct uh, thing to have, and then, uh, three Gamma, one Driver, um, I was siding this in against every matchup, even the Mirror, um, just being able to stop the name from the grave, being able to like, just like stop important plays is really what this card's good for. Uh, like sometimes like just even like hitting like Medora's pit, or hitting Caldo's pitch Medora's and just like some random stuff. Like sometimes this card just came in clutch. So uh, I would recommend it. It's good against Blunder. Good, like I said, good against every deck that's not tier. And it's also good against, like I feel like it's good enough against tier to side in. And then uh, on to the other cards. Uh, these cards I just barely used all weekend um yes, yes, sure probably draw. i just barely opened them i barely sided them in because like I, I was really versing like mirrors and like this card was good against Wonder, and then this card was good against like uh sprite but like those weren't matchups that weren't too popular but like well, if you do versus those matchups you're gonna want these cards trust me uh, heartbeat it's just an extra out to mine like people are talking about that mine is when you played a lot of that so i was like if i know somebody's playing a mind deck i'll just side it in like going first and like also good against like the necro valley outs and, like it's just like there's like a bunch of like outs like this card out like, this card's just crazy sometimes and just being able to search it off the kids mad important um called by the grave um i just wanted more outs to shifter really like if i versus the plunder deck outside and then hopefully i can stop the shifter um i really decided this in too much because like even in the mirror like you're going first like in general like you just don't want to side this card in because your opponent's putting in this deal your opponent's not really using hand traps so like i felt like this card was kind of mediocre other than against the shifter deck and like or maybe uh, Spooky Dogwood. Yeah. Like if, it, if you knew you, you were going into time game three, like you, you put it in and get five minutes left, you're going to get Spooky Dogwood and you want to call by the game. 
Yeah, and then um, two tactics. I would side it in like against the mirror. That's really it. And when I went first, and honestly, like I only resolved this card one time all weekend long, and it was in the finals against Jesse. And honestly, it was the nuts. Shout out to Mario for beating the crap out of me with it, and then shout out to Jay for telling me I have to play it after. <laughs> so um, yeah, buddy, uh, no time cards. Yeah, yeah. Where are the burn cards at, bro? Uh, where are the burn cards? At? Um, uh, they're not in my deck because I don't need to win with time. Uh, no scatter shot. No dogwood. No red resonator. Learn how to play. Play my matches within 30 minutes. Like y'all already know, I was never winning with time. That's Garbo. I know how to beat all my opponents. Um, yeah, ask how, you can literally ask everybody in the room how many matches they won with the clock. And at least, uh, you know, at least a few will say, you know, one or two. Zero. But me, you already know it's factual. I won zero times in time this weekend. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Hey, there you go. Hey, congrats on winning YCS, bro. Until next time, everyone. Portal out.